It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series long. First pitch is next. Jared Weaver gets the start for San Francisco in this one. What do you have for us on him, EK? Well, guys, he's got a two to one strikeout to walk ratio. So he's throwing the ball pretty well. We'll see how that translates into this one. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Well, first pitch of the game. The a lot of guys on the mound are thinking, all right, let's just get ahead here with Justin the fastball. Well, he was having none of it at the plate. Drives this one for a solid single to start things out. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he's retired one away. Jackie Robinson gets his first opportunity now. Runner at first with one gone. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate that the number two guy couldn't at least move that leadoff man into scoring position. And that makes it a little tougher on the middle of the order to drive in that early run. Catch made there by Altuve. And there are two gone now. Alex Rodriguez will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. Weaver comes set. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball driven to deep left center. The outfielders give chase, but this one is gone. A home run. A two-run shot off the bat of Alex Rodriguez. Number 712 in his Hall of Fame career as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh E.K., you look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. Yeah, and that last loss dropped them back to the 500 mark on the year. So, obviously, they'd like to get back into that positive numbers with a win here. In under the hands with a fastball, it's 1-2. and two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 2-0 Philly. Catfish Hunter, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. E.K., what do you got? Well, Matty, you take a look at that whip, less than one. What that means, he's allowing less than one base runner per inning. Outstanding. Here comes the second baseman, Jose Altuve, to get things kicked off in the home Lady half of inning number one. Second baseman, Jose Altuve. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. These Phillies, Eric Harris, as they enter play here tonight, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. And the even better news for them is that they've got their ace going here tonight. So you have to figure that all signs are pointing toward another victory here. In now, Gerardo Parra, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Right there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. Hit hard back up the middle, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Adam Lind takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And you know what? These days, so many guys are throwing in the... And the tag is on him to retire the side. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. Phillies lead this one two to nothing. Leading off for Philadelphia. Steve Pierce makes his way to the plate. 
He'll get us started here in the top of the second. High in the air out to center field. Lofton is underneath this one. One pitch, one away. Alejandro Deaza will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Well, you're right. His last game was excellent, but he just keeps adding to those numbers. Over oh, a diving stop by Lynn to first. Onto the pitcher covering, and he dropped the baseball. Eduardo Nunez will get his first shot at it here, and he's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Here comes the first pitch. Smoked on the ground, left side. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Luis Carrasco will stand in now. And as you take a look at the splits, his numbers compare unfavorably once he leaves the comforts of home. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Fly ball heading for the alley. Polanco giving chase, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. In to score, the runner from second. Now batting. Hunter Pence Hunter will stand Pence. in. He singled to lead off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Well, he hit the fastball, so we're going to see right here if they still come at him with the hard stuff. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. And this is all about having faith in your catcher that he's going to block that pitch as well he should. He's one of the best around when it comes to smothering balls in the dirt. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. At the plate, Justin Upton. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. You know, and I think that pop-up right there is just a result of poor pitch selection. He chased a bad pitch, and as a result, he didn't really put a good swing on it. Tag there by Molina. He's out at the plate. Jackie Robinson gets a shot now with deuces all around. Two on, two out here in inning number two. Looking to minimize the damage here. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. A pause, and the 0-2. On the ground to third, fielded by Robinson. Over to Altuve for the force, and that'll be that. Kenny Lofton will stride in. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he came through with three hits in the losing effort. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And that's going to land foul. Lifted in the air out to left. And this is taken in by Upton for the first down. And with that, let's take a look at how the fills will set up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Yeah, Justin Upton is a classic corner outfielder that plays average to above average defense. He's not going to blow you away with his range, but he has a good arm and great instincts off the bat. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Batting sixth. 
Coco Chris gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. And a wide one here for ball one. Catfish steps into his windup. Here's the one-two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Upton on the move. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Hey, Rod and there indeed is Alex Rodriguez now. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Here's Weaver back at it now as the first pitch is swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Now after a rough couple of innings, you'd like to give your guy a chance to straighten himself out here, but I also think you've got to keep your options open in case he just doesn't have it. One away here to begin the third. Stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. It wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at-bat. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. So far, he's the only guy that struck out for these guys. He's in danger of making it two now. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Weaver looks in. Here's the 0-2. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Altuve has it. Throw on to first, and Weaver's really got it working here. There are two gone. At the plate, Steve Pierce. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Out in front of it, strike one. The windup and the 0-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. Lind in foul ground. And that ends the inning. So a good inning there for Jared Weaver. Yadier Molina digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. Swing and a little tapper. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Upton's under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting eight. Right fielder. Gregory Polanco digs in for the first time now and looking to break out of this little six game dry spell at the plate. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Tough fastball that time but he hangs with it to stay alive. And another foul ball. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, you're always gunning for a strikeout when he's at the plate because his legs make him so dangerous. Even when he hits just a slow grounder. So nice job of keeping him off base right there. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. This is the trouble when you're facing a guy like this. You get into a hole, and now you don't know what to look for. He's got four pitches he could turn to here. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. 
Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 now. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Line toward right center, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. And Aaron will make the catch to retire the side. Giants leave one. They're down 4 nothing. Alejandro Deaza is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to 1-1. One and one. Hard liner to center field. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Eduardo Nunez strides in after getting a base hit and later scoring the first time around. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 90% of the batters he's faced, and yet he's getting lit up. I mean, you've got to throw first pitch strikes, but they can't be hittable. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2. Sinking line drive out to right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next for Striding into the box, Catcher. Luis Carrasco. Luis. He'll try Carrasco. to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. I'm not sure that pitch would break a pane of glass. That is very tough for a big league hitter to wait that out. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. The right fielder, number 10. Back to the Hunter top of the order Pence. now, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so... At least he's got that going for him. That evens it up one and one. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Three. Can't get it down on the pitch in the dirt. Justin Upton stands in. He'll try to improve in this Justin at bat after Upton. grounding into a fielder's choice his last time up. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 1. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at bat for both teams. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Robinson is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Phillies leave a couple, but they're in front four to nothing. Leading off the inning, Gerardo Parra. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet. So this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton is there. Makes the play one away. The first baseman number and these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show as you get a look there at the two starters scheduled to oppose one another. Adam Lind will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Boy, we're well into this ball game now, and he's thrown 70% first pitch strikes to all the hitters he's faced. And when you can get ahead, your results are going to turn out well. Liner towards second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So a runner at first with one man gone. And standing in is the veteran center fielder, Kenny Lofton. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. That's lifted the other way out to left. And Upton's got this one. Two away now. now Brooks Robinson Third is into the box for his second at-bat. He popped out into foul territory his first time up. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. That misses 1-2. Two. two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Jackie Robinson heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Into the seats, 0-1. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Line drive to left, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Alex Rodriguez strides into the box now, launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Chopped weakly to the left. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. Now batting. Kyle Schwarber will dig Kyle in for the third Schwarber. time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. First pitch coming. Here it is. High and deep to right center field. Looking up is Lofton. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number 16 for him on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Here's Steve Pierce now. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Now batting. Center fielder. Alejandro Deaza digs in, coming off a single in his last at bat. Now a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. Lifted the other way to left center. Lofton is in pursuit. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Coco Crisp will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And he lays off for ball one. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Upton going back. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Catcher. Catfish has the sign. Here comes the first pitch. 
Yadier Molina comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Upton is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Right, Sometimes 25. this is all you have Gregory. to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. Gregory Polanco is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Right side. Oh, and this goes right past him. Now to the plate, Ozzie Smith, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Skied into straightaway right, and Pence will move over to make the play to end the inning. One left for San Francisco. They won't. Eduardo Nunez makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Lofton is there. One out. The catcher, number Luis 55. Carrasco, ready Luis to take another Carrasco. shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. The right fielder, Striding 10, in once again, Hunter, Hunter Pence. Pence. He struck out while trying to lay down a bunt last time. And I'm still not sure why they had him trying to bunt with two strikes. I'm just not a big fan of doing that. To second for one. On to Lind, oh, but it's it. not in time, and they'll just settle for one. Justin Upton will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. And this is fouled back and out of play. A runner on first with two away. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. And, and foul. Here it comes on nothing and two. Line drive to center field. Lofton will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. One. Jose Altuve will stride into the box as he'll get things started for the Giants in their half of the sixth. Took a little off, and it's in for a cold strike one. Well, here's a little trivia for you, Matt. On May 1st of 2012, Jose Altuve faced Mets pitcher John Roush, who's 6 feet 11 inches tall. The foot-and-a-half height differential is said to be the most in MLB history between a pitcher and batter. And this is taken in by Upton for the first down. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. Upton is over to his right, and he puts this one away for out number two. Matt Slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Adam Lind is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Drilled to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Make it six shutout. 
Jackie Robinson is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Jackie Robinson. Chopped foul right at home plate. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And you know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, I'd be surprised if they go back to the curve again on two and two. He's had a couple of pretty good looks at it at the plate. Robinson has it, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Pretty good work out of the bullpen, as you see there. He got called in much earlier than I'm sure he expected, but he's given him a real lift so far. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. How about it? Kyle Schwarber will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. And it's quickly 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they're on. Kenny Lofton steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning. He makes good contact, and he can run. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Kayaza moving to his left, one away. Brooks Robinson come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. To third. Rodriguez is up with it. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. When we get a look there at his pitches by any, he's at 81 now after that last pitch, so he should be good for a little while longer. Coco Crisp is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still here in the catcher's mitt snapping all the way up here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hunter's ready. 0-2 on its way. Another one sent foul. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Off the plate at 94, one and two. Uh, and this guy won't lay down here because there's two outs and nobody on. He's putting up a good fight. Going to be a tough play. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Steve Pierce comes to the plate and he'll start us Maybe off in the eighth. And so There's far in this ball game, he hasn't Steve even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco has a read on it, one down. Center field number 16. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Now Eduardo Nunez short will short stand short in. Short he short flew short out short his short last short short time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On the ground is short. This could be two. Altuve for one. On to Lind, but it's not in time, and they'll just settle for one. Now batting, Luis... Carrasco, he singled his last time up. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. And, and we've seen guys swing at that four-seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. 
backhanded. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Hunter Pence stands in. He'll try to improve in this at bat after grounding into a fielder's choice his last time up. Sent on the ground out to second. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are. Yadier Molina will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter Leading still out the there, and he's definitely been a Catcher tough nut to crack. Yadier no, Molina. he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. All right, fielder number 25. Gregory Polanco, Polanco will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. One out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Robinson scoops it up. Pro gets him, two down. Ozzie Smith. We'll stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Ball one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at 2-2. Two and two. Still 2-2. Two and two. Hit hard up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Jose Altuve. Will stand in for the fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far. And they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus far. We've played eight full. It's the Philly six and the Giants nothing. Justin Upton digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make Justin one fall here. Upton. Ninth oh. inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now, batting. now at the plate, Second Jackie season. Robinson. He's one for four for the game. First pitch of the at-bat. Uh, couldn't hold oh, up man. on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The second for one. On to Lind, and it's a double play. The third baseman, number 13. Alex Rodriguez strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. And A-Rod swings and misses at that one. He's in a quick 0-2 hole now. I think he needs to cut down on his swing a bit. Get a little more. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. No runs on a hit, no error. Gerardo Parra will be tasked now with leading things off in their half leading of the ninth because they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. And he takes a cold strike two. Seems like it's been a fairly consistent pattern. Hard stuff early, soft stuff late. But these guys don't seem to have caught on yet. It's a pretty standard operating procedure, too. I, they just look lost up there. And that misses two and two. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Diaz. 
And that's the first out of the inning. Adam Lind gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Kenny Lofton will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. And there's ball three. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Hard hit ball to second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Boy, his guy's got him the lead back in the very five. first inning. And he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his nope. way so far. And this inning's turning out to be no exception. Two out with the man at first. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 now. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for. But on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one. And the Phillies make it six straight victories now as this one is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off.